Carbonation, otherwise known as weathering or mineralization, is a common natural process in which CO2, a trace atmospheric gas, is trapped in mafic and other types of rock. This mineralization is a slow reaction that takes a great deal of time to fix an appreciable amount of CO2. Our project has two challenges. Is it possible to develop a technology to promote or accelerate mineralization? And how effectively can the carbonate so generated be used to promote plant growth? We developed a total system that delivers both of these benefits. We began by evaluating data from a wide range of previously conducted experiments. However, these tests were conducted under limited conditions. We needed a tool that could evaluate the effects that could be expected if conditions were different, so that we could search for optimal mineralization conditions. Developing that tool is our aim in the Moonshot project. All rocks are not equal in terms of CO2 fixing performance. Some rocks are more effective at CO2 fixing than others. In our project, we aim to determine by experiment which rocks have optimal composition for promoting mineralization. We will also seek out the best conditions for promoting quicker mineralization and at a lower cost. In sum, the objectives of our project are to obtain maximum mineralization at high speed and low cost, and to develop evaluation tools for finding those optimal conditions. In addition to AIST, RIKEN, Tokyo University of Agriculture, and University of Tsukuba took part in this project. One process we are examining in the research I just described is the pulverization of rock. Grinding rock requires high energy cost, and AIST is conducting research and development to reduce it. At the same time, we're conducting tests of CO2 fixation in rock under an exceptionally wide variety of conditions to analyze the impact that changing an array of factors will have on reaction speed. The so-called co-benefit, the promotion of plant growth by scattering rock and other soil components, is investigated in RIKEN, conducting tests to analyze the impact of weather conditions, such as temperature and humidity. Factors being tested include how much rock to scatter, how fast different species of plants grow, and what the optimal growing conditions are. At Tokyo University of Agriculture, pulverized rock is being strewn on an actual field where several species of plants are being grown to test the effects of promotion of mineralization. Experimental data have already confirmed that scattering pulverized mafic rock on plants promotes their growth, and that the promotion of mineralization accelerates the fixation of CO2. University of Tsukuba is conducting a life cycle assessment of the method evaluated above. The Tsukuba team is analyzing the balance of CO2 emitted versus CO2 reduced across all processes, from rock excavation and pulverization to scattering. A moonshot is, by definition, development of technology aiming for introduction well into the future. Commercialization is not expected to be straightforward. From the first phase of the project, we came to appreciate the daunting array of issues in front of us. We worked closely to combine a wide variety of knowledge and solve these problems. When all our efforts coalesce along a single line of inquiry, I feel very happy. Although many aspects of promoting mineralization remain unsolved, 
We believe that social implementation of this solution will contribute significantly to addressing the problem of global warming. Through a wide range of research, development and experimentation, we are moving steadily toward that social implementation. NATO.